procedures I perform are spinal, whether it's minimally invasive or more traditional open approaches. That includes operating on the cervical spine for multiple cervical spinal disorders, including disc herniations, cervical stenosis, cervical fractures, the thoracic spine I operate on as well, and again, the same similar problems, thoracic stenosis or thoracic disc herniations. Many spines that become arthritic are unstable and require stabilization with fusion techniques. I operate on the lumbar spine for multiple reasons. Uh, I decompress the spine for lumbar stenosis. I remove disc herniations. I also deal with fractures of the lumbar spine. Many of these approaches can be done in a minimally invasive fashion. Other approaches require more traditional techniques. When I see a patient, I always like to identify not only what the diagnosis is, I want to make an accurate diagnosis, but treatment goals are a priority and I want the patient to understand what our goals will be and what the expectations will be from the treatment that I recommend. Many of the goals mainly include improving the patient's quality of life and getting the patient back to a normal lifestyle that they had pre-injury or what they had several years ago before the chronic condition occurred. Getting the patient back to a more functional lifestyle to improve the quality of the patient's life.